Hey, how's it going? This is Todd with Shutterstock, and I've got a question for you. What does your mouse do for you? Does it click? I bet it clicks. Does it help you do your taxes? Does it console you when that client sends that long list of revisions? Well, neither does this one, but it does some pretty cool stuff. This is the Logitech Triathlon M720. It has a whopping eight programmable buttons on it. This mouse has the ability to do anything that you can bind a keyboard shortcut to. So to start, you definitely wanna go and make sure that you download the Logitech Options app. So we're gonna download that right now. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us the ability to basically program the mouse to do all kinds of crazy stuff. And all right, so here's the Logitech Options app and it's got basically a map of all of the different buttons. So you can see here we have a gesture button, scroll left, scroll right, uh, these two little buttons right here. If you have the Logitech Options app, you can actually go in and select different applications and have custom button mapping for every single application that you use. So here I'm gonna go ahead and go to add application and right here, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, and you can do Photoshop, you can do After Effects, you can do any piece of software that you have on your machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a Premiere Pro map to my mouse here. So this is where it gets pretty cool. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go into a project that I had in Premiere. And if we go up here to the top, you can go to keyboard shortcuts. And this is where we're going to find and map our different uh, keyboard shortcuts. Obviously, you have all of these different tools. You got the razor tool, slip tool, slide tool. You can track forward, you can track backward. All the different things that you find yourself hitting the key a lot on your keyboard, you can actually find a way to do it on your mouse instead. So one thing I find myself doing a lot with you know tutorial edits like I do is I use the track forward tool quite a bit. So right here, I can see that that is bound to the A key. So one of the most unique and impressive things about this mouse is this gesture button. Basically it has gestures. So you hold down the gesture button and you move your mouse one way or another and that is going to give you that certain keystroke. If I wanna use the track forward select tool, I'm gonna to go ahead and set the gesture to be where I swipe to the right. It's gonna select everything forward from the playhead. And right here, obviously you can do all these kind of stock settings, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to custom and then you go to customize. And so right here you have the settings. So this is for swiping up, this is for swiping down, left and right. So I wanna do the swipe to the right to be track select forward. So I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna scroll down to keystroke assignment. And we remember from before that was the A key. So I'm going to type in A. So now let's say for a gesture down, we're gonna want that to be, you know, delete maybe. That could be cool. So if you know you have a cut and you select it, you can just swipe down and it'll delete it. And of course you also have these side buttons. I like to use those to jump between cut points. I'm gonna go over here, we're gonna do a keystroke assignment. And I know that in Premiere, that is the up key. And for this button, I'm gonna go ahead and set that to down. So here, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just start. See, now I can use these keys to scroll through my cut points. So here we are, I'm skipping through, I'm skipping through, and let's go ahead and select forward. And there we go, now I got that tool. And let's go ahead and delete. Boom, deleted, deleted the whole project. It's just one of those things you can practice and eventually get to the point where you're like editing with one hand uh, like Tom Cruise in Minority Report. Hey, Todd. So if you're looking to up your mouse game, I highly recommend giving this guy a shot. It could potentially save you a lot of time, and frankly, it's just a lot of fun to use. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.